In the wintertime, there's just a, a tremendous amount of activity. This is the time of year when Pinecraft comes to life. Well, I generally describe Pinecraft as an Amish and, and conservative Mennonite enclave within Sarasota County. Most visitors come for the food, especially those Yoder's pies, but hang out for the people watching. Most people that you would see with distinctive garb would be would be Old Order Amish or very conservative Mennonites. Most Mennonites can't be distinguished and live in Pinecraft year-round. People don't come to see the Mennonites. I mean, you know, they don't come to see people like me. <laughs> the Amish population swells into the winter from those traveling down from northern communities. And their history in this area can be traced back to 1931. They were farmers from the north who wanted to do something in the wintertime. They came to Venice and planted um, watermelon and a few other crops like that. The land wasn't suitable there, so they moved farther north to Sarasota. It was very inexpensive land. They could build uh, small houses. Some of the early people that came to the area actually lived in tents until until they had little cottages built. Now, nearly a hundred years later, they come for a different reason. Sunshine. Definitely sunshine. It's good for the soul, everything. I am down here with four of my best friends. We're rooming together. I'm almost always here when the bus comes or goes. Photographer and blogger Katie Troyer shares stories of the Pinecraft neighborhood online, often for family members up north who don't get to make the trip down. They're just waiting to see if I took a picture of their mom and dad, or if I took a picture of their family that's down here. Or their neighbor. Photographs capture changes among this conservative community. Some people would say, well, no Amish have cell phones. Well, some Amish do. They, they will use electricity. They'll go back north. And most of the old order Amish would not use electricity when they go back north. So there's some things that are different here. That's just been accepted over time. I find it easier to ask for forgiveness than ask for permission. And Katie says the fact that some Mennonites and Amish still shy away from cameras gives her a greater feeling of responsibility to keep shooting. I guess I'm just preserving history. Devout cultures enjoying a bit of sunshine while providing visitors with a century's worth of history.